Welcome to my unboxing of the Patriot Division 2 Viper Extreme DDR3 Gaming Memory with Unrivaled Performance. Hold on, gotta take the package off because Slick's all like, Oh no, the package is shiny and then the lights will reflect. It's gonna be bad. Um, so basically, this is an 8 gig memory kit that runs at 2.4 gigahertz. Yes, we are getting up to the point where desktop memory is like as fast as video card memory was not that long ago, which is pretty cool if you ask me. So Patriot's Viper Extreme Division 2 series memory kits are designed for Intel's, well, they say second generation core processors, but I actually don't buy that because really this kind of frequency is not, uh, not necessarily as easily achievable on a Sandy Bridge processor as it is on the new Ivy Bridge processor. So all of a sudden these high speed memory kits with new Z77 boards and Ivy Bridge processors are going to become a lot more interesting because you can pretty much effortlessly set them up on an Ivy Bridge platform. So you can see here we've got copper spreaders on the bottom. Okay, here you can kind of, yeah, there. You can see the copper spreader that goes over the RAM chips itself. Can you see it? Not really? Okay, well it's in there. Um, and then connected to the copper spreaders, you've got aluminum heat shields that uh, also spread heat and help to dissipate heat from the memory. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't know how much of a factor it is. This is only 1.65 volt memory, and unless you're going really crazy on it, it probably doesn't, you know, need the eight pounds of uh, copper and aluminum that's attached to it, but they look pretty badass, and so we're gonna go ahead and install these in one of our Z77 boards and see how it goes. So here's my Ivy Bridge test platform. This is with a four point something 4.6 gigahertz, 3770K, and my standard testing Kingston HyperX DDR3-1600. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to see just how, you know, plug and play this new 2.4 gigahertz memory from Patriot is. So the full specs are him to 2400 megahertz, and then the latencies are 11, 11, 11, 30. It's an eight gig kit running at 1.65 volts. Here we go. There it is installed. All we had to do was enable the XMP profile and there are the settings that are promised on the package. There's the, oh, look, there's the memory running in the system. It looks pretty balling out. So let's see if we actually, you know what? Let's do this in real time. Okay, so motherboard settings, save and exit, save changes and reboot. Yes, so let's find out if it works together. How easy is it? We will soon know when the computer boots up. And let's see how long Linus can keep talking about nothing while he waits for a computer to boot. It's a good thing it has an SSD because, oh, incidentally, also a Patriot SSD. That's a wildfire in there. One of the fastest SSDs out there. Still booting up. Right, it's a good thing it has an SSD because that means I don't have to kill quite as much time. It's also a good thing this motherboard has a really fast post. You guys see that? Splash screen, done. Starting Windows, ready to go. Although this is a very beat up copy of Windows in the sense that it has like a billion different drivers on it and a ton of different utilities and startup nonsense. However, it should still boot reasonably quickly. There we go. Let's see if it worked. So, if you're really committed to running high frequency memory, then it looks like Ivy Bridge is pretty simple to do it on as long as you buy high frequency memory. Thank you for checking out this unboxing and test of Patriot's Viper 2 Extreme Division 2, or Viper Extreme Division 2, 2400 megahertz DDR3 RAM. Don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube. Let's see how long I keep watching this. Slick's laughing in the background, not sure if you can hear that or not. It's a good thing someone thinks I'm funny. Get out of here. Oh yeah! Bam! Supersonic XT, that's his USB drive. He's running to get more Patriot stuff. Wait for it, wait for it. Or don't wait for it, it's fine, you don't have to. Yes! More Patriot stuff. He'll find more, he'll find more. Wait for it. Oh yeah, wildfire box. Oh yeah, Pyro SE box. <laughs> more wildfire boxes. Wow, it's like the Patriot Museum going on in here now. Okay, subscribe.